So what's going on guys? Before I start with the video I want to apologize about not uploading that much videos for the last couple of months but um, I had a lot of stuff going on and um, I was working so um, for the last three months and a half I was working in a grocery store here in Varna and I had uh, shifts from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. and sometimes from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. so basically um, no time whatsoever when I was working so I was working um, two days and two days off but sometimes I had to work three days for 12 hour shifts and have one rest day and have to work another two days so this was such a struggle to go through uh, this much hours at the store but overall it was a nice experience this was my first job uh, and with the money I won from the store uh, I bought my first uh, protein powder and probably gonna buy me another one in uh, about 15 days I guess cuz uh, that's when I'm gonna get my payment for the last month and yeah it's the morning of the 31st of August it's 7 a.m. and in about an hour I'm gonna go to the store for my last day at work so I decided to make a full day of feeding while working because this is my last day and I haven't done um, a full day of feeding a regular full day of feeding in a long time so yeah it's gonna be a pretty fast video um, I'm not gonna make it too long and I promise you that I will start uploading at least two videos um, uh, very soon uh, after I have a little rest because my summer vacation actually starts for me now because I haven't had that much time to rest through the whole summer so I'm gonna have about nine days before I start the university so yeah, without further ado uh, we're gonna start this video I'm gonna show him my first meal I'm gonna eat it and uh, start preparing for work so meal number one And meal number one, as you see I'm gonna have an omelet, just uh, taking it pretty simple the morning, uh, it consists of uh, three egg whites, two whole large eggs and um, 100 grams of cottage cheese. Yeah, it sounds strange but it gives a lot of fluffiness to the omelet. And the green stuff you see here might make you think that this is a spinach omelet, but this is actually stevia. Yesterday I bought um, stevia on powder and uh, it's green. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not looking uh, up to this meal because it tastes the stevia tastes like green tea, and I don't like green tea. But I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna have one liter of water. I'm gonna take with me some water to work too. And yeah, this is meal number one. Catch up with you guys in meal number two, which is gonna be probably at 4 p.m., uh, which is a pretty big uh, gap. So this meal is at 7 a.m., and my next meal is gonna be probably at uh, 4 or 5 p.m. So yeah, pretty big gap. But I think uh, I will manage it because for the last couple of months I've been e eating like this. Maybe sometimes I'm, I've had a bit more carbs in the morning but um, usually it's just the omelette with the cottage cheese so guys this was one of the nastiest things I've ever had in my life will I do again a um, stevia omelette or, a, or an omelette with stevia no never never ever ever again if stevia tastes like this I'm probably not gonna use any more from this jar. Uh, it just wastes money. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, I hate green tea and it tastes just like green tea. Disgusting. Like, ill. But I ate it because I'm not wasting protein. I'm not wasting food. Um, I'm just about to go out and hit for the grocery store for my last day of work and catch up with you guys in about, I don't know, 8 hours, 7 hours, at 4 or 5 p.m. See you then. Okay guys, so time for meal number 2. 
and at the moment I have 30 minutes rest um, which after I'm gonna go back to work and I have three more hours to go and it's over my working time is done I'm finished with working for this year and it feels really good but to tell you the truth it's it's pretty hard today because um, one of my colleagues uh, is sick and I have to work even harder for uh, because of him so yeah uh, I'm gonna show you fastly what I'm gonna have I'm gonna eat it and go straight back to work so here it is meal number two what you have here is 280 grams of low fat cottage cheese 1% fat cottage cheese I have 75 grams of um, dried filet meat and um, some spices, some cucumber, a bit of mustard uh, and a bit of vinegar. And as you see from the macros on the screen, uh, this is pretty low calorie as my first meal which was disgusting and I feel sick, I still feel sick about this meal. So as you see guys, my meals are pretty low calorie and that's because I like having big meals and uh, what to do I eat all of my protein almost all of my protein I leave a bit for the dinner and um, I leave all my carbs and a good amount of fat for finishing the night actually I'm every day I'm finishing about 20 grams uh, lower fat under under the fat uh, range I've set for my day but that's okay for me um, I don't think that it's a problem so yeah I'm gonna demolish this meal and head back to work and catch up with you guys with an awesome meal for dinner in my meal number three and by the way I'm eating at home because I live only five minutes away from work so yeah it's convenient and I'm done guys from 10 minutes I'm officially unemployed and uh, the interesting stuff is that through the whole day I was um, just waiting for that moment when I can go straight home and think about my stuff, about food, about uh, just watching, just relaxing, just chilling out. But when the last minutes came, um, I felt really bad because I basically lived in this grocery store for the last three months and a half and I've made a lot of uh, friends and yeah it was a hard a hard moment for me and it was my first job so it was even harder I guess but it is what it is now um, I'm gonna start preparing my dinner uh, which is gonna take quite some time at the moment it's uh, 8 half past 8 p.m. I guess around there and probably I'm gonna sit eating at half past 9 p.m. which sucks but if you want to make it delicious it's gonna take some time so starting with the preparing of the meal and uh, as you see I'm gonna be making crepes or as I like to call them Bulgarian pancakes as it says pancakes in Bulgarian palachinki uh, and uh, yeah, I've used 215 grams of this Dr. Jotker uh, pancake mix, pancake mix, and this Bio Set pancake mix. But this is 250 grams, so it's a total of uh, 465 grams of pancake mix. And I know what you think. Can't you make your own pancake uh, pancake um, mix? Uh, yeah, but it's late and uh, I don't have time so I'm gonna add around 210 grams of egg whites I'm gonna tell you exactly when I put the macros uh, on the screen you're gonna find out maybe not but there will be there and Yeah, I'm gonna add some egg whites uh, I'm gonna add just water because uh, I don't have that many carbs to play with because I bought some stuff for a protein dip I'm gonna make after that so let's get it started okay so now I'm gonna add the egg whites add some water after that mix everything really well I'm gonna show you the consistency and I'm gonna start making the pancakes okay guys so 
It's a bit more liquidy as it should be, but it has to have this creamy kind of texture. Um, a bit, as I told you, a bit less watery, but at the first moment I thought that I messed up, but I just made a pancake and it's looking decent uh, and I think it's gonna be a way better, so I'm gonna continue making them and I'm gonna eat. So pancakes done and uh, to the stove it was really really hot, uh, as you see I've sweat a bit. So now I'm gonna prepare my dip and a salad and finally I'm gonna eat. So check out you guys with the finished meal. And while you wait for my protein dip or sauce and my salad, this is what I'm gonna have tomorrow for my post-workout. And uh, yeah, it's a bounty drink. It has, let's see, focus, 1.9 grams of fat, 8.7 grams of carbs and which of 8.2 sugar of course and 3.3 grams of protein per 100 milliliters so yeah, this will be my post workout um, drink uh, fast carbs I guess so yeah let's go to the meal okay guys it's 15 minutes before 10 p.m. and I'm just about to start with eating and as you can see it's pretty high carb so the after 8 might for me does not count so I don't give a damn about carbs anymore when I was um, uh, when I had my eating disorder um, this was like the the worst thing that you can uh, that you could do to eat after 6 or 8 and if I ate something uh, so late I had to do something uh, to burn calories like moving my legs because if you move your legs you burn 50 more calories per hour or something like this. So yeah, um, one more thing, I want to thank everyone because um, this week I hit 500 subscribers and I have no words, um, it's another mi milestone for my channel and um, I hope that you like what you see. Um, there's much more to come and uh, I have a surprise for you really soon. You might know what it is, but you don't know when it's gonna be. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's show you my meal and I want to start eating. Come on guys. So starting with the salad and what you see here is 240 grams of canned mushrooms. Um, two tomatoes around 250 grams and uh, we have carrots two carrots I don't know how much I don't really weight my uh, veggies and uh, around two whole uh, cucumbers without the peel and uh, a bit of black white pepper vinegar and uh, that's it basically I don't add any oils and um, guess what Except of the mushrooms, I'm not counting anything from this uh, salad. Don't ask why. Now, moving, so here are the pancakes, as you see. Uh, I think there are 12 pancakes, but yeah. Believe me, those are my favorite breakfast items uh, that... Not items, uh, this is my favorite breakfast that my grandmother, my mother and everybody from my family does. I just love eating pancakes and I'm gonna enjoy this. Here's my protein dip or protein sauce, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I decided to make it a, a bit fancy. Uh, so what it is, it's 200 grams of cottage cheese, the original cottage cheese. Then we have um, 400 grams of 0.1% um, yogurt, Bulgarian yogurt and basically that's it. Uh, I was going to add some original cottage cheese, the Bulgarian cottage cheese, the cottage cheese I've grown up with but I didn't have the macros so god damn it. And to wash everything down I'm gonna have one monster zero sugar absolute zero 
and I've been loving those for uh, for the last month, two months, I guess. Because at the beginning I thought that um, this is not a zero calorie calorie drink. I thought it was a high sugar drink as the other monsters with uh, 50 grams of sugar, but no. So okay, guys, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Like seriously, look look how massive this is. It's so big, and that's what she said. And I'm gonna watch probably, no, not my videos, but Secret Eaters. This is a pretty cool show um, that I really like to watch. Maybe some Ore Monogatari, an anime, or maybe, maybe Masterchef if there's a new episode up on YouTube. So, okay guys, I'm starting with the meal. This was a pretty standard day of eating while I was working. Um, of course, I didn't have that many carbs. Uh, I'm gonna put the totals uh, for the day right here, right here. And uh, yeah, I didn't have that many carbs, but I ate something like 400 grams of oatmeal for the night, which I still do and probably will do for a week or two more. Um, and yeah. Basically, I ate high fiber bread or pasta or something like this, but I ate most or all of my carbs at night. So, yeah, this was for this video, a pretty short one. Uh, just to show you a quick glance of uh, what I eat, as I told you. And um, make sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't. See you next time.